But why I think we should uh, talk about it, or why I think I can mention it, is because this group of players, or this nation, this team, has achieved things in the last year that has never been done before. So today we shouldn't be worried about achieving something or doing something that hasn't been done before, because we've done it regularly the last year. If we think back, we beat Pakistan for the first time in a T20 series. We beat Bangladesh away, as a white ball side, away. We've beaten England in the World Cup, we beat Pakistan in the World Cup, we beat Sri Lanka in the World Cup. We just beat in New Zealand for the first time ever, and we just beat in Australia for the first time ever. So there's nothing, we, sh we shouldn't be worried about doing something new as a side or as a team. Okay? We've worked hard enough and we deserve to feel confident that we can do it. We've played Bangladesh before, we know what to expect, they're a good side. We know that they're a good side, but we know we can beat them. Okay? So don't be worried about achieving something that happens if we win. Don't be, we don't have to change how we play. We just do the basics that have done us so well, that served us well against New Zealand, that served us well against Uganda, that served us well against Papua New Guinea, and served us well against Australia. We do the same things. We don't have to change. The pitch is the same length, the ball's the same. All right? So that's the most important thing in the message from you guys. Don't be worried about doing new stuff or achieving new stuff. Do the basics that has got us to this position. Bangladesh know they have to be attacking. They have to win by a certain amount. Let's not sit back and wait for them if they bat first or if we are batting first and they come in at us side because they want to win more than us. Let's not sit back. Let's start well. Let's have the same intent that Gobaz and Ibrahim did and let's have the same intent that Naveen had and Faisal had. Let's start well. We start well against them. We suffocate them from the start. We don't let them go. And then they think, okay, here we go again. And then they just die off. If we don't start well, we give them encouragement, they get confident, then it becomes tricky. Alright? Let's start well. They're expecting us to be very good, let's not disappoint them. They're expecting us to be professional and have the right intent and to be and be brave.